Boone, Iowa. The time right now is 3.38 p.m. We gotta turn left up at the stop sign and it will be almost there. Turn left at the stop sign. The broker called, they say, um, you can be there by five. And they'll wait for you by five. All right, good. I'll be there at 340, 345. Let's go. Welcome to Boone. Before the three-quarter miles, turn right on the Avenue. Boone, Iowa. We're in the right lane. We gotta turn right. Right here. I'm about to take this whole street up. Dang, I gotta turn right. Ah, no. Turn right. Get by. Look at that old school car there. Oh, come on, hurry up. <laughs> come on. All the way for nothing, cuz I'd be show mad leaving out. Ain't nowhere to park around here. caught by the train right now it's 3.53 one street closed where the train was coming out the other street blocked off where the train going through this is the only way around now turn right on Big street we gotta turn on industrial it's a 13 foot bridge right here There's no way for me to get up there. The last option to go all the way around the block and try to beat the train. That's the only thing left. This street closed to get in there. We gotta go all the way, try to beat the train, then turn around. The whole street is closed right here. The, uh, the next street back was the um, low clearance for the train to go over the bridge. And I got to try to beat the train all the way down. It's right over there, the building right there. I got to try to beat the train and come back around. 
All the way down. It's my only, it's my last option right here. That's all I got. I hope it ain't close. Ain't no road right here. <laughs> I don't got no more options. See if we can figure something out right here. I'll turn right and go up and go around, like two miles around it. Right now it's four o'clock. Road was closed to get in there. Closed off. I think they're supposed to go over the bridge, come back over it, go on top of it, then turn left. Man. 401. It's taking me two miles out. To that low bridge man i could think i saw it because it, it wasn't high it was just like lower down there when you turn it that way i don't have to back up out of there because the bridge was going to a curve like it was going around all right we gotta try to beat Garmin and Google right now, man. No man, nobody coming. Alright, come to the big stop for Alright, somewhere by about 2117. Back up the door too. But the way how we gonna do it? We gotta go straight, turn around. And there's one driver just back there behind me, so he's blocking the dock. I gotta get straight and then come back around it. He late too. 
We both late once, so I'm glad the man answered the door. Cause he looked like nobody was there. I'm right, gonna open it up and wait till he come out and he gonna try to do the same thing I did. Optimus is here. Man, I'm so glad this man answered the door cause there's only one car there, man. I'm like, man, oh, I know it's over with. Save the day. Oh, I got the damn strap. Right, put the straps on there. Man, I got to get loaded over there. He just came in too, man. <laughs> and he coming from the same direction where I was. He probably lost just like me. Two, he going to one. I'm glad they waited. Broker said they, they go to like five, so. Glad they be bluffing about that four o'clock. Whip it that way. I, mean, I gotta be careful, I got a rock set. I got rocks where I'm at. Gotta be careful about that road that way. <laughs> what about rocks? <laughs> I'm going to other lane over there. Well, it was cold this morning, but it's hot now. <laughs> it was so cold this morning. I got to get fuel. My fuel light is on. We good, though. We good. They got one in Des Moines, Iowa. That's 354, I'm gonna try to make it there. It's 354 over there, and the other one on 80 is 378. I go 354, because I made it all the way up here. Um, I did what, 870 miles here. I gotta do 874 to Tennessee. So it's gonna be the same distance and, and similar weight. Similar to the way I'm watching that wall though. I'm scared of that wall. I gotta go up again. All right. Couple the wheels. Turn up the the lights. Yeah, a little much, much better now. No wheels, yeah. Yeah, perfect over there. I was a little afraid. I was going back and forth, I'm trying to not to hit this curve over here. And the rocks up there. <laughs> Hazards, man. <laughs> I know you lie. <laughs> There's like four, four pallets in there, man. Let me get a seal. <laughs> this car 2200? Oh my goodness. I got my own seal. What was something about food? Food great product or something. I'm going to pay 2200 I'm going 874 uh, miles. I'm going to Tennessee. Um, forgot the city name. It's, it's near, uh, like Kentucky. It's like high up there, like in the mountains and stuff. 
We're gonna get, get fuel right now though. Next stop, fuel. All right, 9,000 on the wait. On the way to get this fuel that loves down there on 35. Fuel over there is 354. Man, I gotta fill it up. I gotta get fuel right there. If they don't get fuel till I get in Tennessee. Fuel better in Tennessee, the price is low over there, but the whole I-80, 378, 374. So I gotta make it over to get there, make it all the way there, and then uh, fill up in Tennessee for my next load. You about to park? Uh, yeah, park in the wall, man. You got it, bro. That's a tight spot, man. You got to park in between the walls. But they cabs good for stuff like that. They can park that easy. One quarter mile, turn right on Ports Avenue. All right, next stop, Lowe's and Des Montes. I think that's how you say it, Des Montes, Iowa. Right now it's uh, 420. Five minutes, they was, they was done. Right Before the guy was doing parking, he just come out of the paperwork. I said, why, you, you, you done? Yeah, everything's good. You already need a sign right here. So, okay. Sign right here. Can't turn that, but the road is blocked off. Keep telling me to turn where the road is blocked off at. <laughs> That's the street I was coming to. He probably did the same thing. Wondering why we can't turn down there. He got to drive in too. He probably had to figure out just like me. Yep, he looked mad in the face. Just how I was. I was mad, boy. <laughs> I was like, man. Oh my goodness. Why I can't figure out how to get in here? They got 225 parking spots. So I'm probably gonna just stay there and fill up in the morning. I got a pilot right here. We're gonna 
going to the lose. I land not ending yet. <laughs> I'm going down track for y'all. Why y'all let me in? Uh, I'm See, I ain't get out of there. Is that a complete standstill, too? I got 40 minutes left of my drive time. So I, I gotta stay. Stay here. The day wasn't too bad, though. I'm just glad. No, the day was kind of bad. Today was a bad day. <laughs> the forklift driver getting lost. I almost went under a bridge. Yeah, it was a pretty bad day. Menard, um, forklift driver. I ain't, I ain't like that. How that was happening, man. So today is one of them bad days. But it's all good. My trainer used to tell me. Every day is a good day. As long as you didn't get in an uh, accident or get a DOT ticket with the police. Other than that, all your days are not bad days. I said, okay, I remember that. But today was still a bad day. <laughs> today was bad for me, man. I, I ain't like how the day was, was going on. But. The best part of my day is I got this load right here. That would have been the worst thing to come to this love without a load, you know? We gotta get off in a minute over here. You coming in, bro? You coming? We're gonna exit 125 over here in a few minutes. Where's right now? Yeah, boy, you go ahead and keep going down there on in uh. Oh, you gotta, you gotta get off. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. You got it. I'm getting off. <laughs> get in front of the truck. There you go. Okay, put that, put that corner back inside the lane over there, my boy. Put that corner back inside. I hope we got a parking spot. Right now it's 5.30 p.m. on a Wednesday. They got 225 parking spots over there. I hope we got a spot. Oh, we got to turn right. I thought, see so the short, okay. We well, got a Denny's here? Look at some Denny's. I ain't made a light. I'm still made a light. I'm gonna turn right here. They're not supposed to. Bro, your, your light is not green, bro. <laughs> Only the right turning lane can turn from the right when the light is red. These fools turn when the light is red from the middle. That's not how it works. Humans. Go, dog. Why are you stopping? That little bit crowded. Stop and go. I'm going. I see some spots back there. Way back there in the corner. Be all right. 225 spots. I get fuel here in the morning because I'm gonna run a truck a little bit, so I want to run that out. You know, I need a whole eight. I got 840 more miles to do. 
I gotta do like 700 miles tomorrow. Yeah, keep straight. I get fuel in the morning. Oh, we got a lot of spots. There's another one over on this side. spot here. Started walking way down now. <sighs> Look a little tight. to be like on a, like a little corner where nobody gonna be parked next to me. And not too many in the front of me, you know? I think I'm gonna ease right at Bobtail was over there. Hopefully, these more open here. I like how this open. They all filled up though. See this wide space? It's hard to get in an accident over here. If somebody parking next to you, all these spaces here. Cause they don't gotta cut too much. Oh, we find one before we get to up, up that way. Nope. See, these are the best spots there, and they all know that. Dang. <laughs> this corner spot could be a good spot, too. See where that's corner at right here? I couldn't make it. Nope. <laughs> we have a park right there. Oh. Well, it won't be too hard with them facing forward, you know? So I get one of these spots here. Gonna curve here. Maybe you want to pull it out. See, Kyle, can I make it over here? Oh, that's pretty good, though. Watch that garbage over there and ease back. <clears throat> Can't cut it too much. Cut it right when it get to the curve. Ease back a little bit. Cut it now. Ugh. There we go. <laughs> yes, sir. Slowly. As long as you type to this side, you're not looking that side yet over there. I mean, tight rope it. You ain't gotta look over there. Uh, 
as well go inside and see how the loves is over here. We all good. Still the same from yesterday at 354. I was hoping to go down about a quarter. <laughs> uh, maybe like two cents. But no, it's still the same 354, so that's okay. I'm hoping it'll only get like 520. No higher than 520, but I'm completely empty, so it's gonna be between 480 and 520. Overnight dispatch call yesterday from North America. And they was wondering uh, about how I'm gonna make it on time on Friday to the receiver do 900 miles. I go around, I think. Let me see. Let's go this way. I told, cause I only did 40 miles after I got the load. So yeah, I'm gonna make it the whole time. And they said, you sure by Friday? So uh, yeah. I'm gonna do 700 miles a day or 680. Get off around five or four. And do like 200 Friday morning. Easy, simple. So okay, the broker called and this and that. But they got that tracking app. That tracking app on, so. Oh yeah, you got to worry about me. I'm gonna make it all time. Watch tomorrow night. You'll see where I'm at. How close I am. So they're trying to do their job. They ain't really on nothing like that. So. I go ahead to this fuel liner over there. Yeah, it's still at 354. That's pretty good though, but because um. Everything else along my way was 78, 378, 374. I like, I'm just taking the risk going traffic and um, get fuel there. Cause this will get me all the way to um, Tennessee. It's right outside of uh, Knoxville when I looked it up. I think called Williams, Tennessee. It's right outside of Knoxville, Tennessee. But yeah, I make it all the way there. I gotta do 840, but today I'm gonna do about uh, 680. I gotta do like 680 today, so. It's always good to start in the morning. I gotta do high miles like this, 680, seven plus. So you gotta start early in the morning, get a, three, a good 300 in before traffic and construction start, but people start waking up. It like this used to be like a flying J does. Loves, love be having a little more light, more light in. They bought this for somebody. I'm gonna try to pull it to a pump that work. We gotta back out of nowhere. On I-80, 
80 to I-74. I don't know what else after that. <laughs> Just remember I-80, I-74. good on track to hit 6,000 this week. All we need is a Friday load paying uh, 2,000. It would be right at like 6,300. So. Uh, I told her just do two day loads man because the race ain't paying anyway. We might well do longer runs. What I'm doing short runs for. Ain't going that far. Get 800 here, 900 here, and y'all gotta take up 10%. All right, will you start with this and get these longer runs? I don't care if it's paying low. They're looking for the number 2,000 and up. Or at least 1,500, or, you know. That's the only way how I'm gonna survive. Cause y'all gotta get 10% everything. There ain't no, no telling what y'all cut off the cake from the top. They always lie to us, dog. They always lying. Like you got a dispatcher, they always give them a different number. They lie, they're like lawyers. <laughs> Brokers lie too. They all be lying. They pay this, so they only pay that. No, no, they pay way higher than that. That's why we should only talk to the shipper. We don't need brokers or dispatchers. Let's talk to the shipper. Man, I love when they squeeze you, man. Can't even get this side right. The whole side messed up over there. All right, see how much we got? 350? All right, it's gonna be about five. That's going way too slow. 500, 520. I'm getting close to it. Please stop at 480. Come on. Haha, <laughs> 455. They're gonna go to about 490. Hold on, let me see. Uh, 480 now. 507, 143 gallons. That ain't too bad, you know, 3, 354, that ain't too bad at all. Go a little wider there, buddy. All right, we continue this long day. So I did 507 for that DEF, so. Turn left. Then take the second left. Okay, with that, I, I was expecting like 520. But I was hoping for 480. Now I had to fill it up close to the rim because I need everything in this to um, make it a Tennessee, then fill up again in Tennessee. So we are good. To go. I need to hit a Walmart to get some uh, blue because I forgot to get Walmart when I was in uh, Pennsylvania. Turn left on Pickman Road. Well, that Lucas be putting me an extra 200 miles on um, on the fuel, man. Now you put that Lucas in, man, I'll be seeing a difference. I'll be getting better fuel miles with that. I think it's been about two weeks since I added some. I need to get it on the Walmart. I ain't buying from and the truck stop costs forty five dollars. One quarter mile, turn right on Pickwood Road, then take the first left. And where he go? <laughs> the boy hit the gas right around the corner. That turn, he was gone. R and L. Where you went? Went around there fifty miles an hour. Should be getting off near Kentucky. 
on uh, I-65 down there somewhere. So it's going 80 to 74. I think it's 57 or 55. Then hit 65. Turn right at the traffic light. Then hit the first left. 64. Then hit 75. Then loop on around Tennessee down the back roads down there. We're gonna be on time. We're gonna be on time, trust me. From from Monday, I mean Friday. Friday morning, yeah, we're gonna be there. Alright, we go now. I've never seen before my bow, bow everything. So I don't want to go on now. So when I see something new and it got like a color on it, I'll be like, oh, this may like it may do something. I'm gonna buy it right now. Go to the next aisle, buy the next thing. I see some blue straps in there, I'm gonna buy a blue strap. I'm just, I don't want to go on now. Next thing you know, I'm at $150 worth of stuff that I ain't gonna really use because I already got a whole lot of stuff. International um, automatic. It takes so long to get a second gear. I ain't want to pull out there. He'll be coming across. You gotta hit the brakes. See right there, look, it's pausing. Ah. Cars can pause, but I don't want no truck to be pausing while I'm coming by. I gotta hit they squeegee, man, because love squeegee don't be that good. 
TA and flying J high good screen. Right well, what happened here? Oh, he on fire? Fire extinguisher, I think his brakes caught on fire. Check them brakes. World's largest truck entrance. I kind of want to go inside, but uh, I know I'm going to buy a whole lot of stuff. And I don't even need it. I was going to put it in the bag and put it in the back. I ain't going to even need the stuff. I got a whole lot of stuff already. Go to the fuel line and stay over there. <laughs> if you've never been here, check out the museum. Don't just park over here. Man, that's a nice Peter Bell. Check out this museum. Don't just walk in there and get some food and get some chrome stuff. Walk in that museum over there. Pretty nice over there, man. We're on my same spot yesterday. It was about the same time for yesterday, too. It was six. 6.20 in the morning right now. Turn right on 215th Street, then turn right. of the oversized loads. <laughs> Going to my same spot from yesterday. I hope my next load go to Texas, man. I'm tired of being up top. 80, 81, 40. I want to go down to 20 and 10 now. All right, let's go ahead and wipe it down. Them overnight bugs that be hanging out in the street having a block party, man. Go right through it, man. Just tear up everything. Just standing in the street that we get hit. Tight space right here. Oh, what? Can you see nothing? I did only uh, 140 miles from this morning. So I'm not taking a 30 minute break here. I gotta keep going. Smart that chrome a little bit. We both so disrespectful today. at least about 680 680 miles today From 680 to um, 720 hopefully I could do it North America worried about I can't do it. Hey man, do you know who I am? <laughs> the overnight dispatcher. This one kind of loose. When that brain just left there, you went straight to the sleeper. Yeah. I don't got no time left. That's why I went straight to the sleeper. But the brokers want to know where you make it there. Yeah, I'm going to make it there. Because the appointment for 9 o'clock. 
on uh, Friday morning. I'll make it there. I will make it there. Matter of fact, I'm gonna be there uh, Monday around, I mean Friday around 7. Like 7 a.m. Friday. You know? If I get out today around 5, I can start 3 o'clock in the morning. 3 in the morning and drive like the rest of the 200 miles. 200 miles be like three and a half hours, so. Yeah, I'll be there. Nine o'clock, good time for me. Oh yeah. I'm trying to hit this whole, whole side. Oh, I'll take that. I can't, I can't see over there, but I'm just going across. I'm gonna do it one, one time. Yeah. I'm pretty better. All right, keep going now. Yes, sir, had to get right. Much better, man. Much better. We're at large at 6.30 a.m. on a Wednesday, summertime. I'm not going inside, though. Go on now, but get a whole, whole buggy full of stuff. I don't. I ain't even gonna use it. Uh, yeah, go ahead and speed up, bro. Go ahead and just speed up, bro. Turn right on 60th Avenue, then take the second right. Just drive with your eye closed. Look at this, walking in the street. This guy don't even see him. Bro, you, you gotta go up to the right a little bit, bro. You gotta be careful walking with that phone recording, bro. Queen, Wendy's. Turn right on 6th Avenue, then take the second left. Chrome and likes. You like chrome and likes, go in there, you're gonna spend some money. You're gonna, you're gonna see something that you like. <laughs> I'm telling you, I go in there, I spend some money. I do not want to go in there. I'll come up with new mud flop hangers that I ain't gonna pick, be able to put on. Like, oh, y'all got this? Let me get this right now, then. You know what I mean? I have it for somebody to put it on late in Miami. No, I ain't going in there. They all got something new in there. That attract people like me, like they like chrome and polished stuff. Yeah. Oh, the guy right up here, man. His, I think his brakes caught on fire. He was walking, walking back with fire extinguishers and a whole lot of smoke. Don't forget, if you ever come here, walk across there, man, I'm telling you. Don't just walk inside that building, walk inside there. It's nice enough. The trucking museum, walking there. You like trucks and stuff? Right on. Turn left on 60th Avenue. Right, he's still over there. Race caught on five. I think he caught it. Some drivers don't. Some drivers don't even have a fire extinguisher. You know? They just pull it right on in and just fire everywhere. Just call pull, call 911. We better have something ready to save that truck. I got a fire extinguisher and two big gallons of uh, them 2.5 DF uh, water. I keep 2.5 of uh, water inside those things, man. 
that thing pop off, I'm dumping it all out there, right, right on the fire. Yes, sir. All I do is get past the little busy city over here. I forgot what the name of that city. Davenport, yeah. Turn left on I-80 East. Get past that, be smooth ride after that. 6.45 a.m. Walcott, Iowa. Walcott. I can see now. Yes. I can see clearly now. Real largest. Y'all yeah, know y'all be seeing it, y'all be by y'all self. Don't, don't look at me like I'm crazy. Y'all yeah, be riding them trucks singing. Five miles.
we are now in uh, UPS Way Stop. Why are you pressing the brakes for us? What done happened up here? But you gotta get over so bad. We in uh, Pittsburgh. Go ahead, bro. I'm gonna stop everything. Go ahead, bro. Pittsburgh, uh, Indiana, about to exit off on exit 61. Take a 30 minute break. Um, North America call asking about some paperwork from the broker for yesterday. They say uh, I didn't pick up, like, like your driver didn't pick up yesterday. North America, like, yes, he did. He's on his way to Tennessee. They like, nah. He wasn't there. <laughs> the North America called me like, hey, bro, you didn't pick up? I was like, yeah, I got everything in the back. I said, broker said you didn't pick up. I don't care what the broker said. I got the stuff in the back. So they want me to send a copy of the BOL. <laughs> send a copy to the BOL. Because the broker that's tracking me don't think I was at the right place or don't think I was there. I don't know, you think somebody just load the whole trailer, fill it up, put a seal on it, and then say I'm at the wrong place? I don't know. I don't know. Um, trying to... Oh, I'm going off. Um, so I'm going to send them the paperwork and everything, and uh, they go from there. They go back and forth with each other. <laughs> they say, I did, I did not pick up the product yesterday and Boone, Iowa. Everything they sent them, I like, hey man, I, I got a seal on this trailer. The trailer is locked. There's some stuff in the back of the. Now that shipper, whatever communi miscommunication will happen, I don't know. But I'm taking this load over there. I ain't going back. I don't know what kind of misunderstanding y'all having in that office, but I better get it together. Because I'm about uh, <laughs> 500 miles from there right now. So we'll see what happened when I sent the paperwork. I got the address and everything. I signed it. They got their copy. I got my copy. All right, what was the confusion about? So North America going back and forth with the, with the broker. And they still going back and forth. I'm like, can you just get it from the shipper? Like, can the shipper just kind of fax, fax them a copy or send them a copy or whatever they do in the office? So, um, I'm gonna send on the paper. I'm gonna look over it myself and make sure everything right. I just don't think the ship will just load this trailer up and um, tell the broker, this one, this driver didn't make it. It's probably miscommunication on, on the paperwork. Now some probably didn't make it. It was some drivers coming in after I was driving down, they had to drive in, they probably didn't make it. It's probably one of them. Probably one of them didn't make, but I made it. I got my stuff in the back, and I am on my way to Tennessee. Why we gotta go all the way around? I guarantee you a lot of drivers be going right in there. At the end of the street, turn right. Drive that don't speak English, they go right that way. Gloves, we're here. They'll turn right in there. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and uh, wipe these windows down and Send North America the paperwork. They say, Brian, you didn't pick up this or this? Say, yeah, I picked it up. I'm driving away. What you, what you, don't you see I'm driving? Yeah, I picked it up. What you mean I didn't pick it up? Yeah, that's why I didn't pick it up. I got it. I got everything. Everything is here. So let's go ahead and wipe these windows down and um, send North America the paperwork so they can do what office people do. Then take the first right talk back and forth to each other. Man, go over there a little bit, man. I get trucks so big. I might have moved for you, dog. This is Pittsburgh, Indiana, I-74 at the Loves. Yes, sir. Yeah, I got the paperwork, man. Everything good, man. Let me write this seal down on it. So they don't be tripping. Probably Put it down so DOT don't be tripping if they get behind me. They check that paperwork. We don't got no seal. You got a seal on it without the paperwork. It's not asking any questions. Hey, you got their uh, the seal is up. Not the one on the paperwork. I mean to open it up there. 
need to open up, call my K9 out. Make sure everything's all right. I gotta make sure this be straight too. So let me tell North America everything good. Let me send, send this to him right quick. Well, look at them wheels today. Well, that's yes, sure. Yeah, so that's, that's what's happening right now. Um, I'm gonna tell you what's happening right now. The broker probably hired like a, a little outside little carrier, little dispatch company to take over these loads. And they got their little app where you show uh, what a driver is and this and that. And it gives the exact location on what's going on. But when I went yesterday, it was the wrong place. I had to do a U-turn. I couldn't go across the train track. I had to turn around and go back around. So that's why I probably looked like I left. And it probably showed on the uh, on the app that I arrived and I kind of departed too fast. So that's the problem they having right now. I don't know why they ain't called a shipper and tell them I picked it up. My paperwork was correct. Address from my email. So North America hit me back up. They say, hey, you're the best. Everything's good now. Good to go, so I'll uh, I guess so, you know. So we're about to wipe the windows down and uh, take a 30 minute break over here and keep going from there. So, other than that, everything is Indiana, everything be smooth for the rest of the day. Gotta clear it. This is a hole, I don't think it probably works. See? Yeah. Uh, it don't work. The uh, napkins work? That's an old love. already though um i ordered me one of them oil filter wrenches i ordered one of them um oil filter wrench from from amazon in case it happened again you know I ordered one from uh, for the for the oil filter and the fuel filter. So we're gonna be doing that. But the oil filter may it may be able to grip this one too, just in case that be coming loose, you know. But we got we gotta check check our own stuff, dog. Because if we don't, we gotta have a rescue call, just like I, I gotta do right now. I gotta go in the shop, and hopefully they don't charge me. To tighten up something they didn't tighten up. Gotta ask. 
add some fuel to the reefer. Gotta learn from your mistakes. I got all my tools, but I don't have that oil filter wrench. That's gonna be hard to get down there too though. I had to crawl underneath to tighten that from the bottom. I had to like really crawl up under there. If it works saving your oil filter, <laughs> you better crawl up under there. That thing will uh, put you out of, um, put you on the side of the road because all the oil comes dumping right out of there. Half to a friend of mine, when I was over there at, at UPS, UPS Freight, he came into the to the terminal was dumping oil everywhere he was going with it, dumping out. Red light came on, it dumped out right at the terminal, right where he was at. And he I got an oil change that same day. Same day got an oil change. And that same day it came off. See the guy over there got a got that carrier unit. See with the 7500. Nah, 7300 times four. Yeah, we going to reef for my boy. I can't see when I'm wiping this thing. I'm just going off of the last row right here. Ah. 2025, going to reefer. I don't care how long I've been waiting in the dock. I've been at them low boards for, for the reefer. Everything be paying high, like, everything be over $2 a mile. Every, every single load be over two dollars a mile for a reefer like all of them i missed your spot so all my loads be like 150. <laughs> 150 and one uh 185. every once in a while i catch one for 205 225. there don't be no higher than that though absolutely not I know drive-in, not North America, that cheap insurance. I ain't pulling nothing in for it. Or some cardboard paper. Or some paper napkins. He <laughs> <laughs> <You> waved back. <laughs> I think it's time to be on the road. That thing that clean. <laughs> we got water on the other side. This one don't work. I want to keep some water on you. Some water on you. Ah. It don't gotta be this big like this, but at least how that windshield wiper, um, like a one gallon. I'm telling you, dog, you never know what your coolant gonna give out. Catch a fire somewhere, ride. Brakes them caught fire. Trailer brakes catch fire. Um, your water pump give out. You gotta try to still make the load. You need something big like that, or. At least one, at least one gallon of water somewhere, somewhere in the truck. You're gonna use it one day with these trucks telling you, you're gonna use it one day. 